Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a Lightroom tutorial on the basics of editing and just how to edit your photos in Lightroom. So I've already selected the folder I want to be in and I'm going to select the photo I want to edit. And now up here, as you'll see, you have the different modes of Lightroom. So the library is just for going through all of your photos and the develop uh, setting or mode is to edit your photos. So you have to click on that in order to get to the editing part of it. So as you can see, I've already kind of started editing this. So we're going to go ahead and just reset it to its original. So as you can see here, you have your histogram up here if you want to hide it or show it. And then over here, you have your presets and you have the Adobe ones or any ones that you created. So, over here, you have your temperature and your white balance in general, so also the tint. Um, so this is how it was shot on my camera. But if you want to change it, you can either manually change it by dragging this back and forth, or there's another tool, which is a white balance selector. You have to go for a neutral color, like a grayish color. So I'm going to select this right here, and that'll probably do good maybe this one so it'll get it to about what you need I might personally cool this down just for my personal taste um then you can go down and you have the toning of your photo you have exposure um, which is just the general brightness of your photo um, you have your contrast then you have highlights and shadows so as you can see anywhere where there's a lot of highlights or like bright parts of the image. If I drag this up, it's going to brighten those even more. If I drag it down, it'll tone them down. Um, now my shadows, so anything in the dark like over here or even in her eyes a little bit, I can brighten those up or I can darken them and make it in deeper shadows. Um, then my whites, anything white in the photo, anything that any of the white pixels it's going to make them brighter or dimmer. Same thing with the blacks. I can either brighten them up and make them more of a grayish black, or I can deepen them to a really dark black. Um, now, another thing to mention in Lightroom, this is incredibly useful. If, say, my shadows are up here and you're trying to get it back to zero, but like you can't quite get it, all you have to do is double tap your little arrow and it'll automatically go back to zero. Now down here you have your presence, so you have clarity, which if you increase that, that kind of like punches the midtones, um, and if you, and it really gives it like definition to every like shadow and every groove. But if I go down, it's gonna give me this really soft, glowy look. Then you have saturation and vibrance down here, and then up here you have several tools that you can use. So here's your crop tool, and what's nice about it in Lightroom, Lightroom's a non-destructive editing program. So I can crop this, go out of it, and then I can come back and go and like expand it again. It doesn't have to stay cropped like this. In Photoshop, it's destructive editing, so you're not going to be able to go back to that without undoing everything that you did before that. Um, and additionally, in your crop tool, if you have a picture that isn't completely straight up and down, you can change the angle of it. It gives you this grid to line it up with the lines on your photo. So as you can see now, it's lined up with this vertical line on this blurred out door in the background. So those are the basics of editing in Lightroom. And then you go to library, and all you've got to do now is export it. So if you guys have any comments or questions or suggestions, please comment them below, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.